it's like waking up from a bad dream going into a nightmare like day after day. This is Mahia Benassi. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, she and her husband Matt led pretty normal lives working for the U.S. military. We don't do anything. We just go to work, you know, ride our bicycles. Now they're at the center of an elaborate conspiracy theory. One of its biggest promoters is a man named George Webb. This goes back to our story here, which is patient zero, which is Mata Benasse. He's a conspiracy theorist who has nearly 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. He falsely claims, without any evidence, that Mahia brought the virus to China during a cycling competition last October. We are interwoven into his storyline now. He's never going to give it up. Webb's accusations are baseless and far-flung. Benny Benassi, this story has a lot of Benassi in this story. He even claims an Italian DJ, Benny Benassi, is part of the plot. He's also Dutch, and he, he's the first coronavirus virus victim in Holland. No, guys, to be honest, this is crazy. So I'm born and raised in Italy. Do you, have you been diagnosed with the coronavirus? No, I'm, I'm OK. No fever, no nothing. No, no, no. Mahia is in the U.S. Army Reserve, and last October she competed in the military World Games in Wuhan, China. Six months later, comments under Webb's YouTube videos about the Benassis have become the stuff of nightmares. Execute them by firing squad. We need to be killing these key people. These people will get a bullet to the skull. It's unreal. And the danger he put us in, unreal. Okay, hello everyone. This is uh, March 20th here. The conspiracy theory has even reached China. Webb has been featured in media controlled by the Chinese Communist Party, which has sought to deflect blame for the coronavirus. Have you been able to get health protection from, from law enforcement? Because they're not direct threats where they say, you know, we're coming to kill the Benassis tonight. Um, there's not a lot that they, they can actually do. And then they say, you know, go talk to a civil attorney. So we did. And for folks like us, it's just too expensive to, to litigate something like this. Is this Donnie? Hi, is this George? Yes, how you doing, Donnie? Hi, George, how are you? Tony O'Sullivan here from CNN. We called Webb. He offered no substantive evidence to support his claims about Mahia Benassi. Could you talk me through the specific evidence you have that that she is, is as you described, uh, coronavirus patient zero? Yeah, um, well, I have to, um, there's a lot of circumstantial evidence and then there's a source here that I cannot uh, reveal. So specifically on, on Masha Benassi, um, how do you know that she has the coronavirus or has antibodies or how do you know that for sure? Well, I have a source at the Fort Belvoir Community Hospital and she, she actually works at, where I have someone saying that she works at the Fort Belvoir Community Hospital and she tested positive for uh, the coronavirus. She denies that. She denies that? Does she deny that she works at the Fort Belvoir Community Hospital? She denies that she's had the coronavirus, that she has any symptoms of the coronavirus. Um, she and her husband don't have the coronavirus. The Benassi say YouTube isn't doing enough to stop the spread of conspiracy theories. When we got the video removed, how quickly do you think that video popped up in other places on YouTube? And then I had to go after each one of those occurrences. You just can't keep up with it. A YouTube spokesperson told CNN the company is committed to promoting accurate information about the coronavirus and taking down misinformation when it's flagged by users. YouTube took down some trending comments under Webb's videos after CNN asked about them. A couple years ago, um, I was diagnosed with a rare cancer. Dealing with that situation is way easier than trying to deal with this George Webb situation. It's getting out of hand and it needs to stop because 
you never know somebody might take it so maybe their their parent or child died of the coronavirus and then they're gonna come to my house think I did this but um, there are times that it, um, it gets to me um, I just you know go in my own little place but um we we will get through this. We will.